Because Christianity is not of God. It is another gospel, which we're going to see. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. This is why I say Christianity is another gospel in which Paul did not preach. Right. Let's hear the book. Listen to the book. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. Now, wait a minute. Another Jesus would be somebody who will be in direct opposition to the Jesus we read about in this book, in this Amen. record. Amen. Is that right? Is that right? That's right? So we have had a Jesus that they have preached that they said he was born on December 25th. Right. That he resurrected Easter Sunday. <laughs> that he came to repeal the Ten Commandments, especially the Sabbath. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Is that not another Jesus? Yep. Sure is. You can't get no more plain than that. So Paul said, for if he that cometh preacher the what? Another, another Jesus. Je read on. Whom we have not preached. I haven't preached that. Brother Shane has not preached that. We have not preached that other Jesus to you. We preach this one. The real one. Mm -hmm. The Messiah. The one who was born of Miriam. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's the one we preach. Amen. The one who was prophesied of by Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Amen. For it is evident mm -hmm. that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, amen. That's the one we preach. Mm -hmm. They are preaching another one. Paul says, for if I come preaching another Jesus whom I have not preached, or if you receive another spirit. See, so all these people say they got the Holy Ghost. Ah! 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 And that spirit don't lead you to obey the commandments. That's another spirit. Amen. The Holy Spirit I got is inspiring me. Amen. Yeah. To keep the commandments. Amen. Amen. So all this cooning and jigging and cutting the rug and you ain't obeying the commandments? That's another spirit. Amen. Uh oh. That's true. How am I doing, buddy? Wonderful. All right. Read on, brother. Which ye have not received. I didn't receive that spirit. I believe in dancing in the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah, I do. But I'm telling you what, my dance will be in obedience. Amen. You're not going to hit a C on the base and cause the Holy Spirit to stir up in me. No. no. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> God be to the king. Amen. <laughs> He's already stirred up in me. Amen. How about you? Amen. Is that all right? Yes, Are we making sense? Yes, sir. You know, this message is going to deliver a lot of people. Yes. I'm telling you. Amen. See, most people, they can't, they can't even have the Holy Ghost unless. Like it, bro. Say you got to get out front, brother. Your acting qualities, brother. I tell you, bro, they are—they are some of the best I've ever seen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Isn't that the truth? I'm telling the truth. Yes, sir. All right, read on. 
Or another gospel. Or another gospel. Which ye have not accepted. We haven't accepted any of these. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's right. We have all been influenced by them once before. But after coming to the knowledge of truth, we cannot accept them. Read on. Ye might well bear with So a lot of times we're enduring with people. Mm -hmm. Hey, this guy right me told me the one I'm supposed to be repenting to this church down here, who I never committed to going to Atlanta. You know what I mean? Told me, the Bishop. Turn around and say, if I had a humility. Is that right? And then he turned around and told me I should have been there last night at 9 o'clock for communion service for the New Year's. I said, man, any intelligent person who who is of the scripture? Uh -huh. <laughs> know that you ain't having no New Year's in the dead of winter. No way. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So what I have to do when people are coming to us that way who seem to be of somewhat, we have to do this last part. We might well bear with them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe they can humble themselves if you have the humility. True. Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Galatians 1, 16. I mean, Galatians chapter 1, verse 6. We'll, we'll go ahead and expedite these scriptures. All right. I think y'all get the point by now. Some of y'all need to work on y'all dancing Holy Ghost, too. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring uh, Brother Shane and Diane and, and Sister Bob and Sister Carol and bring them all up here and teach y'all how to dance in Holy Ghost. No, I said, wait a minute, we don't want to be teaching our days. Don't go, you had to be taught healing, did you? Oh, I don't want to hear that man. Oh, amen. Now, you, you're being taught how to keep the commandments, ain't you? I suppose you've been law for all your life. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Glory to the king. All right, Galatians 1, chapter 6. I mean, Galatians 1, verse 6. Read on. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ. Y'all hearing this? Another gospel. Another gospel. See, what's going on again is, look, this is, Paul was even dealing with apostasy in his time. He was dealing with falling away even in his time. Look at his words to Galatians. Read it again. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Read on. Which is not another but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. They have, they have Christianity, has Christianity not perverted the gospel of Christ? Yes, Amen. very much so. Yes, sir. We're disciples of Christ. Amen. We don't have no compunction with saying this. We understand this. Mm -hmm. Read on. But though we, or an angel from heaven, prove, preach any other gospel unto you... Than so if that, I... Any of us preach any other gospel, is that right? Or an angel. Right. Now, let me ask yourself a question. Let me see. Would an angel, no, oh, you got two different types of angels now. Mm -hmm. I got to be careful on that one now. Yes, now. Let's deal with us first. Have we preached to you Christmas? No. Easter? No. Sunday? No. Thanksgiving? No. Halloween? No. Sodomy? No. They ain't part. They ain't the gospel of Christ. That's right. But are people preaching that? Yes. Get it, y'all. That's the pillars of Christianity. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's a nasty, vile religion. Mm -hmm. It really is. It's a nasty, vile, disgusting religion. See, most of you, you get upset because your your mom and daddy Christians. You better save yourself. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Read on, brother Ed. Preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you. Let him be accursed. Let him be accursed. And that's what a lot of people have trouble with. They can't let nobody be accursed. Mm -hmm. They want to have all kind of fellowships and everything else, and moonlighting parties and everything else. Mm -hmm. Read on. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. So would you... Israel like you saints around here, if anybody come preaching any other gospel besides what you hear in here, you might as well just let them be a curse. They didn't say curse them out. <laughs> just let them be a curse now. All right? You hear that, Sister Cindy? Don't curse them out. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah, Granny Gasson. Okay. 
<laughs> they gonna be cussing folk out now. <laughs> I mean, boy, I remember my, my, my little bitty mama. Boy, she could tag you up with some cuss words. You ain't never seen nobody put them together like that. Four foot ten and just beat the five of you. I'm serious. You look at it now, you go, ain't no way, not Mama Dow. You got to be kidding me. I mean, you know those saying cursing like a sailor? She'll make a sailor one go home. <laughs> Defeated. Hallelujah. All right now. But we're getting this right. Now let's hit this. All right. We, we quoted John 4.22, but let's go to Acts 10.44, all right? Acts 10.44, and let's, let's, let's bring this thing on home. I got, we got to do some reading here. Let's get it covered. All right. While Peter yet spake these words. What happened? The Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. And they of the circumcision. Which believed were astonished. Why? As many as came with Peter, because Why? that on the Gentiles also. Oh, not just the Israelites, but also on the Gentiles. Yeah. Also, what happened with the Gentiles? Was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know that they had the Holy Ghost, Brother Ed? For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. They heard them speak with what? Tongues. Tongues and magnify God. And the Baptists tell you you don't need the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. They tell you speaking in tongues is of the devil. Now, I got something to tell you. If somebody's telling you speaking in tongues of the devil, then you're looking at a devil. Amen. <laughs> That's just the truth. That's a manifestation of a demonic spirit manifesting through that person in that body. That's who's in control of it. Because there's nobody that is born of God that has the baptism of the Holy Ghost that will speak against the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. That's true. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Read on, Brother Ed. Then answered Peter, Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? They received the Holy Ghost, Brother Ed? Yes, sir. Read on. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. No. See, that's Christianity again. Mm -hmm. A total different perspective in a way. They were all baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They were all baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Yeah, amen. They weren't baptized in the name of no Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. They're not names. Amen. amen. Read on. Then prayed they him to tarry certain days. So Peter, in his report to the Jerusalem church, the assembly, he stated in his testimony in Acts chapter 11, verse 15, read. And as I began to speak, the Holy Ghost fell on them, as on us at the beginning. He's telling all the elders at Jerusalem, I was speaking to these Gentiles. And the Holy Ghost fell on them, as, read on. Then remembered I the word of the Lord, how that he said, John indeed baptized with water. Uh-huh. But ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. It's amazing how Peter's associating this experience with what the Lord said to John. Oh, read on. For as much then as God gave them the like gift. God gave them the like gift. Mm -hmm. God gave who? The Gentiles, okay. the like gift. Is that right? Read on. As he did unto us. As he did unto us. Who believed on the now, Lord Now, you Jesus know how Christ. he knew the Gentiles had the like gift? Because he had it. Amen. The same one. Yes, showing that God is no respect of persons. Amen. You lying dogs out there. So you got the majority of people out there who call themselves Hebrews and Israelites who ain't never had the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Never. Amen. And they going to hell too. Amen. The, oh, yeah. Read on. Who believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, what was I that I could withstand God? What, what can I do about this since God is already the same Holy Spirit, same Holy Ghost we got? He gave it to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. What was I? How can I withstand God on this? You can't either. Mm -hmm. Read on. When they heard these things, what they, they do? They held their peace. They shut their mouth and glorified God. They glorified God, saying, "Then hath God also to the Gentiles granted repentance unto life." He granted unto the Gentiles repentance unto life. See, all I'm trying to do is save folks' souls alive, and then they want to sit here and, and persecute me and talk about me, which is fine with me too. But I'm being brutally honest about people's soul salvation. Come out of her, my people, Amen. and be ye separate, save the Lord. Amen. Now, we're not going to go over that um, Passover thing. But let's go to Amos 3.1, and then we're going to end in Deuteronomy 
chapter 4, okay? All right. Amos 3, 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Read on. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. What did he say? You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Now you stop for a moment. Y'all hearing this? Now, we can say this up today. You only. Has he known out of all of the families of the earth? All right. But man, he's going to get on them now. Read on. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Now, you see the reason why we we in this captivity in our enemy's land? Because we're being punished for our iniquities. Mm -hmm. And we haven't been doing a good job ourselves coming away from our iniquities until we got filled with the Holy Spirit. And even at that, it's still pulling our teeth to get some of us come out of iniquity. Amen. Uh-oh. Amen. He clearly just told us that God, the Most High said, you own it. Mm -hmm. Out of all the families, that means all the nations of the earth, have I known only. Therefore, I'm going to punish you for your niggas. You know the reason why? Because you're the one that's charged to carry this message. Amen. You're the one that's charged to carry this message to the Israelites and to the Gentiles. And he can't be having you messing up. Amen. 